cooking, it's time to vibe. Eat the rainbow, that's how you thrive. It's time to cook again, it's time to vibe. Eat the rainbow, that's how you thrive. It's time to cook and it's time to vibe. Eat the rainbow, that's how you vibe. Hello, hello, my loves. It is your girl, Gabrielle Reyes. Y'all are up in my kitchen today. Hello. We are vibing, we are cooking, and we are gonna be making some nachos. I'm really excited. I'm live up on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and of course, Instagram. Welcome in, y'all. Come on, now. It's time to cook again. It's time to vibe. Eat the rainbow, that's how you vibe. It's time to cook and it's time to vibe. Eat the rainbow, that's how you vibe. Eat the rainbow, y'all. If you can't tell, I love a little thing about the rainbow. That's why I be wearing the rainbow. I be eating the rainbow. I be experiencing the rainbow in all different ways. Just like today, y'all. So, like I said, we're gonna be making some chili cheese nachos. I have some cheese. Look at this cheese right here, y'all. Oh, <gasps> is that not decadent and delicious? Look at that. Ooey, gooey, and this cheese is kind of like a combination of different things that I made. I actually made this for one of my recipe videos. And the easiest way to make your own at your own at home vegan queso cheese is actually you're gonna grab some plant-based milk. I like to use coconut milk or oat milk, something that's nice and fatty. Um, and then you're gonna heat that up and then melt in, sprinkle in some vegan cheese. Like um, I like to use Follow Your Heart or Bio Life or even like Trader Joe's has a pretty good brand. And then you always wanna make sure you season it. Add in a little bit of cumin, a little bit of lime juice. I even like to add in a little jalapeno juice in there too. And yeah, and then I make sure to add in a little bit of pico to get it nice and chunky. So that's the easiest way. If you don't like using vegan cheeses, if you're like, mm, the oils, mm, the ingredients, I cannot today. That's okay and that's all right. There's other ways that you can make vegan cheese. One of the easiest ways is through cashews or you can actually use like almonds, um, soak them down and then uh, I, I would say like you soak them overnight and then you're actually going to put them in a blender and add in all this delicious seasoning and spices like nutritional yeast, uh, cumin, smoked paprika, salt, pepper. Some people like to add in a little bit of like uh, some umami flavor or even what is it i think miso miso powder or miso paste yeah it's also some people like to add in there too um but it all just depends on whatever is your vibe whatever you're trying to go with today i'm going to be using this super simple one and then the chili oh hot <laughs> she hot and fresh this chili is thick and y'all i have a go-to chili recipe i've been using for years it's super simple all i do is i just get a big pot and I started off with a little bit of oil or some vegetable broth and I throw in some red onions. Saute those onions up, get them cooking, get them sizzling, add in a little bit of salt, um, even some fajita seasoning if you want to, and then throw in all of your beans with the juice, okay? So you're gonna add in pinto beans, black beans, uh, kidney beans, what other, what other kind of beans I got in here? Um, sometimes I like to add in lentils or chickpeas. I also always add in corn and tomatoes too. Now, we've got a lot of broth in there, right? Well, you wanna make sure to add in some delicious, either cubed up squash or potato of some kind. I love to use sweet potato. That way it just makes an extra element of hearty. And then of course you're gonna add in your seasoning and spices. So we got fajita seasoning, add in some jalapeno juice, smoked paprika, maybe a little hot sauce up in there too, y'all. So that's kind of what my go-to situation is. And then the other thing I want to chit chat about is pico de gallo. I mean, we love pico, right? Like it just is the perfect amount of freshness, whether you're eating it just on a chip or adding it onto a huge dish just like this. The pico is actually just made with some tomatoes, some onion, jalapeno, and some lime juice. And then I add in a little salt and you'll see all that juiciness coming out from those fresh tomatoes. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've chit chatted about all the ingredients. So let's get into it, y'all. Super simple. That's why I love nachos. Also, Fun fact, these chips are, let's say, ha Hawaiian habanero. <laughs> Hello. Hawaiian habanero chips. These are the brand late of July. I 
I love. I was gonna experiment with maybe making a recipe that didn't involve uh, tortilla chips. So, you know, some people don't like to eat chips. Um, so if you're one of those people who doesn't enjoy eating potato chips or you're trying to stay away from maybe more processed ingredients like potato chips, I got you. I suggest slice up a thin potato, a sweet potato, a purple potato, even a white potato, and roast those in your oven um, until they're nice and crispy. That way you have a nice, perfect little, you know, little platter that you can put your delicious other ingredients, or you can do the exact same thing with cauliflower too. So let's build these nachos. I think the first thing I wanna add on are my delicious beans. And I like to always make sure I get every corner. I mean, I'm gonna be sharing this with my friends and my family. We love nachos. We be eating nachos every day. Loaded vegan nachos. Eat them every day. Loaded vegan nachos. Any kind of way. Loaded vegan nacho, nacho. Loaded vegan nacho, nachos. Ooh. Why is that a jam though? She was a bop, but for real, I be doing so many different kinds of nachos. I like, if it's Christmas time, I be doing a Christmas nacho. Valentine's Day, a Valentine nacho. Um, I like, if we're gonna do buffalo nachos or Jamaican nachos or Italian nachos or pizza nachos, there's just so many different ways that you can be doing nachos, y'all. So now, ooh, look at that thick. This is my favorite part, y'all. Look up, up close, look at that thick, creamy cheese and I know it tastes good and there's a lot of it and you can freeze it and warm it up or put it into a soup or add in some noodles and make it something delicious oh yeah there's possibilities y'all so we're just gonna be sprinkling over or drizzling over hey yo drizzle over our chunky yet very smooth and creamy and it smells oh so much umami going on so much tangy flavor oh I love it I love finding the way, different ways that I can exactly have what I had when I was a kid. I ate so many nachos when I was a kid, y'all. It was a problem, okay? All right, next thing I wanna add on is my fresh pico de gallo. I was so proud of myself when I made this. I was like, mm, she is good. And y'all know I use my handy dandy chopper to chop up these ingredients too. I keep it simple. All right, just sprinkle this over a little bit. I like to make sure, you know, there's a little bit of freshness you know no recipe no recipe is good without freshness you want to make sure you got that good good going on and i like to make sure that every single bite has the option to have some of that freshness and also it just makes it look a little cute you know what i'm saying all that beautiful color after all we are eating the rainbow if we want to thrive it's time to cook again it's time to vibe Eat these nachos if you want to fry. It's time to cook and it's time to fry. Eat the nachos if you want to fry. Boom. All right. Perfect. Now we have some other ingredients we can add on here. I have some vegan feta. Totally optional, but I do love me some vegan feta. Um, this is coconut based, and I think I actually just got this from Trader Joe's, y'all. Trader Joe's got the hook of vegan ingredients. And also, I wanted to tell you a fun little hack. If you don't got time to make chili, if you don't got time to make cheese, that's okay. Instead, just grab some cowboy caviar from Trader Joe's, or just grab some, like, you know, uh, vegetarian baked beans. I'll be getting some vegetarian baked beans and be making nachos out of that. Keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? But you, you gotta eat, you know? And sometimes you just don't wanna make it too complicated. You just wanna throw some ingredients on some chips and just eat. <laughs> and that's what these nachos are all about. Okay, boom. All right, so we got all of our little bit of feta on top. And then I was gonna add on some avocado. I, I don't know, I, I'm thinking I might actually save this for another recipe. Um, because avocado is very soft and I want to make sure I create kind of almost like a creamy dip out of it. But I am going to add on some extra jalapenos and some pickled vegetables. I, I don't know if y'all like pickles, but I love pickles. Like anytime I'm like, ooh, I could be eating potato chips or I could be eating pickles. And so I'll be eating some spicy pickles. There's a certain brand. In fact, what's this brand right here? Oh, this brand right here. Boobliss. I don't know how to say it. Boobliss. Bubblies? <laughs> I don't want to say it. I probably did not say that right, but that's all good. Anyways, they add in these nice, delicious little spicy ingredients. And I love to use the little pieces that they use to um, season the pickles. 
I love to use them on my nachos and in my tacos because I don't want to throw these away. These are delicious ingredients. And the, also that broth, the brine that the pickles comes in, marinate your mushrooms and marinate your cauliflower in that brine. So good. All right, last thing I'm going to add on is a little jalapeno, as if I didn't have enough. <laughs> but you know, I'm a spicy girl. Last time I made nachos, I'm like, this needs more spice, needs more jalapeno. So that's what we're doing today and voila my loves a delicious platter of nachos how easy was that how simple how satisfied everybody gets some of that goodness okay y'all check it out look at that layers of love i mean honestly this is a feast for at least two people you know what i'm saying these ingredients are accessible they're easy to create it's fun you can get the kids involved get the family involved it's perfect for parties events and if y'all need any more hacks when it comes to simplifying your recipes, because listen, I know, sometimes you don't want to be like slaving over a stove for hours. You just want to throw some food together and get it going and get it flowing. Nachos or tacos are like the perfect way to do this. You could also put all these ingredients in a taco or a burrito too. That'd be delicious. So y'all, I think it's time for me to get a bite. I'm going to get this piece right over here. She got some of that bean on here. Ah, cheers. Mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good, y'all. Mm. Just right amount of spiciness, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. So good. Wow. Okay. Well, I haven't eaten today. <laughs> Fun fact. This is gonna be my first meal of the day. I might even add on some more chips, because y'all, I'm hungry, hungry. Ooh! And that jalapeno is so spicy, it's just hitting me in the back, just like that. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna take whatever questions I can really quick before I hop out of here, dig on into this. If y'all are interested in getting cute little fun kitchen equipment, just like this, um, you can actually get this at my website, onegreatvegan.com, as well as my cookbook. And my cookbook will be available on Amazon very soon, y'all. Y'all been asking for years, y'all been like, girl, can it be on Amazon, please? Can we make it accessible? And I'm like, I got you. <laughs> it's been a whole process, but I'm really excited because that way more people can get going, get flowing, and get singing in the kitchen. All right, y'all. Let's see. I saw one question, but I got distracted by talking. So let's see if I can get back to it. Somebody said, why did you decide to make this? That's actually a really good question. Now you got me going over here deep. Why? Well, to be honest, I have the ingredients. Um, I really wanted nachos. Me and my best friend Sophia were talking about nachos and we were like, we really love nachos. Like we literally eat nachos every single week in some kind of way. She's gluten-free, I'm vegan. This recipe also happens to be gluten-free, fun fact. That's why we love nachos. So yeah, I just wanted to share another simple recipe with y'all. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna actually hop on out of here, y'all, because I'm hungry. Your girl Gabrielle got a vibe with this to keep her alive. But if y'all do have any more questions, if y'all want any kind of recipes, you know exactly where to go. Go to my blog, One Great Vegan. We just redid the entire website. So let me know what y'all think about that. Hopefully you think it's cute. Hopefully you down with the whole new vibe of it. And um, yeah, y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing day. Do not forget at the end of the day, no matter what comes your way, always sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth. Mm. Mm-hmm. And eat the good food. <laughs> always eat the good food. Bye, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, this is really good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Oh no. Mm 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 mm.